use the normal distribution to find values or z-scores given a probability. So recall that a z-score is found by taking the value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So z-score, sometimes it's helpful to just write it out. Value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So if you understand the, the symbols, right, x minus mu over sigma, that's great. Use the symbols. But if that you struggle with that, then use the words. It means the same thing. Okay, so knowing this, let's go. Use the table given, it's on the next slide, to find the z-score associated with a normal probability of 0.1685. Now, I want to refresh you. When we talk about the normal distribution, right, we know area under the curve is 1. So all of this is a probability of 1 because it's the whole thing. So I know that here the z-score of 0 right in the middle, we know that 50% is on this side and 50% is on this side. So we start at 0 and we go all the way up to 1 in terms of probability, right? This is area under the curve. Where 0 is none of the area, 1 is all of the area. So if I'm finding the probability of 0.1685, well, starting at zero, it's going to be like somewhere around here. So that this area here shaded to the left is 0.1685. So we're trying to find what is the z-score that goes with it. Now, understanding that process, I know that the z-score in the middle is zero. So over here, I know my z-score is going to be negative. Okay, this is just the thought process of what does this tell us. Okay, so now let's go to our table. So we have a probability of 0.1685. That means I'm looking inside the table, right, all of these values to find 0.1685. So I look, okay, here's 0.18, I'm getting closer. Oh, look here, 0.1685 is right here. So we say, okay, I go left and up. So this is the beginning. I have negative 0 0.9, and then this is the last number, 6. So my z-score is negative 0.96. So if I go back here, negative 0.96. That should make sense, right? Because it's negative. All right, let's do another one. A normal distribution has a mean of 32 with a standard deviation of 3. Find the value that represents the 30, oh, excuse me, the 64th percentile. Okay, so let's just, what is this? Oh, huh, huh. Okay, so we have a mean of 32, standard deviation of 3, and a 64th percentile. And we need to find the value. So x is what we're trying to find. Well, this stuff goes with our z-score, value minus the mean over the standard deviation. But I have two missing pieces. I have the value and the z-score that are missing. 64 percentile is not either the value or the z-score. But remember that we can talk about probability as percents, right? The area under the curve, all of this again is 1. Well, 1 equals 100 percent. So if I'm talking about my normal distribution curve, again, I know that you know, z-score of 0 is in the middle and 50 percent on this side. 50% on this side. So if I'm at 64 percentile, well, that's past 50%, it's going to be somewhere over here. So that all of this is 0.64, right? Percent as a decimal gives me area under the curve. So if I know that this shaded horribly area is 0.64, just like we did, I can find the z-score. Okay, so let's go to our table. And we're looking for 0.64 inside our table. Oh, goodness. Okay, so here's 0 0.5, 0 0.66, point, okay, here's 0 0.6406, point, no, too big, too small. Okay, so 0 0.64, we're going to use 0 0.6406 as the closest to. So again, I go all the way over this way and up. So my z-score is going to be 0.36. Okay, so now we have a z-score of 0.36. So I now have this formula that I can solve. So let's go to a blank page. So my, 
my z-score of 0.36 equals value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So I'm just redrawing this out. We know solving equations, you got to do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign. So first step, let's get rid of the fraction. Right? We're going to multiply both sides by 3. Math is about equality. If you do it to the left, you got to do it to the right. So multiplying by 3 makes my fraction go away. And I'm left with x minus 32 on the right. And 3 times 36 hundredths is 1 and 8 hundredths. So now to undo subtraction, I'm going to add 32 to both sides. And we can see these cancel out. I'm left with x equals 33.08. So back to our question. A normal distribution has a mean of 32, standard deviation of 3. The value of 33.08 represents the 64th percentile. We know it has to be, right? So our z-score was bigger, or it was positive, um, and so we know that uh, the mean is in the middle, so we knew our value had to be bigger than the mean. So hope you found that helpful.